So this is for our party tomorrow, right? Yeah. What we're gonna cook? Roast. Roast duck, uh, goose. Wow. Oh, wow. Hey, hey. Heard me. <laughs> So we've got the lights up guys, up all around the, the garden, and it's New Year's Eve. So Nat has been busy uh, working hard in the kitchen all day. Uh, I did my bit as well, I, I made a couple of desserts. <laughs> so you can probably guess what they are, but uh, you'll see them later. I'm going to show you what food she's done. That, uh, it's a nice spread and it's not typically what uh, the Vietnamese eat all uh, a Tet holiday but Nat wanted to do her twist to it and help celebrate New Year so let's go and see what sort of food's on offer okay this is Nat's cousin hello hey hello Boom. hello so we've got, we've got the beer we've got goose we've got beautiful beautiful goose and we've got sot bang sot bang we've got kimchi we've got some dip for the uh, the goose i think and we've got a cucumber salad with nuts and chili and a bit of garlic we've got pickled onions we've got nem nem spring roll we have bang me which we we got a delivery from uh, Big Sweet. joanne there's your favorite chung cake bang chung Bang chung. Bang chung. Bang chung. And more, more, more goose. And basically yeah. the same again all the way down here. So we've got a great spread. So we're going to enjoy ourselves now. And I'll show you the lights later on when we get, when it gets a bit more dark. Cheers. Hi guys. It's, uh, it's later on now. We're absolutely stuffed from dinner. Absolutely amazing food, but uh, totally, totally full. Um, now, I've been walking around the village trying to take some photos, some video of the lights and things, and I just came across a party. So, I'm going to go and have a look and enjoy that for a little bit. Hi guys, well, it's about quarter to midnight, actually just a bit, bit before that, and I'm just walking on the way to the uh, pagoda, so people are going to be meeting up there and praying and what have you. I'm just going to go along and just film a little bit around the buildings and that, and you've seen the pagoda before, but uh, uh, I thought I'd do it on the night <laughs> uh wearing a mask again because there's gonna be might be a few people there so i was at a party earlier and nobody seemed to be wearing a mask and then two groups of police drove through the village like uh on the big bikes two of them on each bike they drove just they just drove past us and there's a guy at the back with a pith helmet on they just they didn't I thought they were gonna break the party up or something but uh, there's no social distancing or anything like that there's no rules like that in the village so it's you know not expecting to be clamping down or anything but it just seeing them drive around I think they're they're actually looking for people with fireworks because it's illegal to 
set off fireworks in Vietnam. You'll hear them. <laughs> and even our next door neighbour uh, got caught last, I think it was last year or the year before. And he got a three million, I think it was a three million Vietnam Dong fine. <laughs> so uh, yeah, he got caught by the police. So I think that's what they're doing. They're going around the villages, just checking, make sure nobody's just chick chucking fireworks all over the place. I mean, that was about, that was about 10 o'clock anyway, I think. So not that they were going to be going off, but I can hear, I've heard some fireworks just now. So it might be uh, some bit, a bit of action. So I might uh, try and film some of that. So we'll get into the pagoda and show you around. It's a bit dark, but you've got pagoda, you've got the actual pagoda here. And there'll be plenty of people coming around to worship in front of the, the altars or the shrines. You've got all the Oh, lanterns up here. Fireworks may be illegal, but every every book is setting them off. <laughs> I can hear him now. That's a proper firework display. There must be a... That must be a proper display. You're not allowed them yourself unless it's a, an official display, so... You probably can't even see that, but I've already got the GoPro. I think the guys have uh, have all been in. See at the house. So that's it basically guys. Happy New Year, Chuck Mung Nam Moy, and we'll, we'll enjoy all the food. See you guys.